Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter two, lesson one of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. We just completed activity one and we are skipping activity two. So we are going to continue with activity three. So we are going to begin investigating where the food molecules for plants come from. Before we begin our simulation, I want you to answer this question. Why do you think that some plants grow more than others? You can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson one activity packet, a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you or you can think about the answer in your head. To answer this question, pause the video now. Another question I want you to answer is, where do you think the plants might be getting their food molecules? Again, to answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson one activity packet or in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video to answer this question. So since we cannot directly observe where plants get their food molecules, we can use a model to try to figure it out. In this lesson, we are going to use the sim to explore where plants get their food molecules. Remember, matter is made of molecules. The cubes in the sim represent the matter of the organism's bodies. We are going to try removing different components of the ecosystem one at a time to see what happens to the plants. You'll use the sim to answer the questions. You can either continue with this video or access the sim through Amplify. You are also going to be using page 34 in your ecosystem restoration workbook or page four in your chapter two, lesson one activity packet. To get on to the Amplify simulation, you are going to log on to Amplify. You are going to scroll down to the ecosystem restoration unit, and then you are gonna click on the orange box one to access the simulation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so as we can see, we have a couple different things going on with the simulation. We have plants over here. We have rabbits, we have mushrooms, and we have wolves. We can also see that the cubes represent the matter. Triangles are nutrients. We can see those in the soil as well as water. We can also see carbon dioxide or these gray diamonds that are in the air. And our sun represents our energy. So as I'm observing, I can see that the sun is giving plants energy. Then those molecules seem to be moving to the rabbits or back into the soil. The rabbits are then getting that energy. And then the rabbit's energy is either going to go to the wolves, or if the rabbit dies, they are going to go to the mushrooms. So I wonder what happens if I remove the rabbits from my ecosystem. And let's watch. So as I'm watching, I notice that there's a couple different things happening. There is a lot of matter being given off by the wolves and the mushrooms. I can also see some given off by the plants. Okay, now I notice that there's a little, there's less matter being given off by the wolves and more to the mushrooms and the plants. Let's continue watching to see what happens. Okay, I can start to see that the wolves are starting to look a little droopy. Maybe this represents that they're dying because they don't have any rabbits to eat. So I wonder what happens if I put the rabbits back and then remove the plants from the ecosystem. Oh, if you saw that, I just saw the wolves. They just started to perk up. So I'm assuming that they eat the rabbits. Now, if we look at this, the rabbits are starting to get droopy because they have nothing to eat now. So let's add the plants back 
and see what happens if I remove the mushrooms. It looks like by removing the mushrooms, the plants start to get droopy. It looks like they're starting to die out. So let, and, oh, and so are the rabbits. So let's add those back and let's see what happens if I remove the wolves from the ecosystem. So again, remember that the cubes represent matter. The sun is giving off energy. Let's see, it looks like without the wolves, oh, the rabbits just started to get more perky. Let's continue watching. Okay, I can see that the amount of cubes in the mushroom area is starting to get really big. Remember, this is matter. So the mushrooms are have a lot more matter than the other two categories. So I'm going to add the wolves back for just a few more moments and see if it starts to do anything new. I also notice in the soil by the plants, I see roots which is how plants get their water and nutrients. Okay, we are going to stop the simulation there. Okay, now that we have watched the simulation and made some observations, you are going to answer the questions in page 34 of your ecosystem restoration workbook or you are going to answer the same questions in page four of your chapter two, lesson one activity workbook. And that will end activity three.